Hey, I'm Dr. Mike Roussel, and in this installment of Ask Dr. Mike, we're going to be answering a Facebook fan's question uh, where they were wondering how can they lose weight using a whole foods approach because they don't want to use lots of pills and supplements. So today's question comes from a Facebook fan and the question is, how can I lose weight using whole foods and not supplements and pills? And I think the good news is you should be losing weight using whole foods and not supplements and pills. That you need to be using a whole foods approach to losing weight because the whole foods approach to nutrition is the only one that works over the long term. Okay? Using um, new replacement shakes, there are a lot of different options where you could try to lose weight using a weight loss pill generally it's not really going to work um, so I wouldn't worry about that there are some that can kind of help with weight loss but nothing that's going to help you lose an appreciable amount of weight if you're looking at the traditional very low carbohydrate diet or not excuse me very low calorie diet not very low carbohydrate but very low calorie diet which would consist of anywhere between one and three shakes per day that are probably only 200 to 300 calories so you're eating very low 800 calories or less per day with just shakes uh, you know, yes, it's been proven in research studies to work, uh, but it's kind of like brute, for, brute force calorie restriction. So I wouldn't recommend that approach either. I do recommend a whole foods approach, starting with the six pillars of nutrition. Um, I've gone over the six pillars of nutrition in a lot of videos, so I won't cover that right now. But you can either go um, and get the book at Amazon.com or just go to MikeRussell.com and there's a video there that outlines the six pillars of nutrition. And this is a whole foods based approach to weight loss that takes into account uh, nutrient timing and also the calorie and carbohydrate densities of the foods that you're eating. So that's where you want to start and that is a whole foods approach. The one place where if you wanted to you know, make one slight change, um, it would be with your workouts and with workout nutrition because with your workouts, liquid nutrition, so that would be a sports drink, you know, some people would consider protein powder supplements, some don't, I'm kind of almost don't consider them supplements anymore because uh, it's just kind of a staple, but having liquid nutrition like a sports drink or a protein shake around the exercise, just due to the kinetics, like the speed of digestion, availability of those nutrients, because they're in liquid form, would be the one place where I would say you wanna add those. Um, even if you're going with strictly whole foods, that that's a great place to put it. Um, so there are five keys, you know, that I've kind of um, outlined to lean living. And we'll, I'll, I'll throw up a slide so you can see those five keys right now. And so basically, it doesn't involve pills or supplements. It's, it's carbohydrate restriction. It's weight training. It's interval cardio. <coughs> excuse me. Fish oil and vitamin D, so those can and can't be, can or don't have to be supplements. That can just be fatty fish like salmon and getting more sunlight and then adequate sleep. And so if you add all those things together, that's really going to give you, that's kind of the lean body equation. And you don't need any pills or supplements for, for any of that. So don't feel like you need that. The whole foods approach is the way to go. Start with the six pillars of nutrition. Um, you know, probably add some liquid nutrition on your workouts. I think it's ju just for ease of use and also, you know, a little advantage there uh, with the kinetics of digestion. But you should be using a, a whole foods approach uh, for sure, not relying on, on pills and supplements to maximize your weight loss. So hopefully that answers your question. <clears throat> if you have any other questions about this video or any other videos, just post them below the videos and I'll make sure I check out all the comments and answer them either at YouTube or at my website at microcell.com. Make sure you subscribe, click the subscribe button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also head over to microcell.com to see more Ask Dr. Mike videos and also other articles and programs that we have on the blog and in the store. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thanks a lot, have a great day.